this week on the Blunders of Our Bulls. There were four games played this week, so let's talk about them. I think we can now confirm that the Bulls are the Pistons' kryptonite. I mean, every time we play them, the Pistons' player gets the playoffs. Zach Levine had 25, which is normal. But Luke Cornett had 15 off the bench out of nowhere and was a lights out from three. In the first half, this game was dominated by the Bulls. I mean, the Pistons couldn't stop them. In the second half, Andre Drummond was ejected for throwing a basketball at Daniel Gafford's head. But after that, the Pistons started to come back. I mean, come on, Bulls, did you forget that you had to play the rest of the game? But in the end, the Bulls won and swept the Pistons in the season series. The Celtics are a hot team right now, and they are playing amazing. Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum cannot be stopped. In this game, the Celtics dominated with incredible ball movement. The scoreboard does not tell the whole story. The Bulls never had a chance in this game. Zach Levine had 30 points because he's the only one on this team that knows how to score. The Bulls' defense in this game was terrible. Most of the Celtics' shots were open ones. It goes to show what having good ball movement and depth can do for a team. The Wizards are just like the Bulls. A team with young talent that is struggling. This game was back and forth for a while. No team could get an advantage on the other. Until the fourth quarter when for the first time, the Bulls outplayed a team. Not Zach Levine outplayed a team. The Bulls as a team outplayed the Wizards. Zach Levine had 30 points while being lights out from the three point line. Thaddeus Young had 18 points off the bench. The Bulls got a win they needed against the Wizards. The Bulls played the 76ers yesterday. They were down by double digits most of the game, barely keeping it close. Even without Joel Embiid, the 76ers were able to easily beat the Bulls. Zach Levine had 23, but he was off in this game. He went 0 for 7 from 3. Goes to show what happens to the Bulls when Zach Levine doesn't play amazing. Alright, you guys obviously know how Zach Levine has been going off this season, and he deserves to be in the All-Star game. So I'm asking you guys to vote for Zach Levine to be in the All-Star game. It would be disappointing if he wasn't in it. I would appreciate it big time if you vote for Zach Levine. The basketball gods demanded even more sacrifice. Daniel Gafford is going to miss two to four weeks due to a dislocated thumb. With all these injuries, how will the Bulls win any games? The Bulls are now 15 and 28 and 10th in the Eastern Conference. They play the Cavs today, and they need to win. If they do, the Bulls could easily get to 9th, and maybe if they win a couple more, get to 8th. Hopefully they win this game and more on the next episode of the Blunders of Our Bulls.